Aloha, Richard Halverson here. This is ICS 321. And today's uh, February 10th. And let me share my screen. And we are, um, February 10th is like around here. And so we're gonna start chapter three today. Um, let me just comment on uh, assignment two. I don't think I've had a chance to comment on that yet. Um, uh, and let me comment on section 2.9 also. Uh, and then one other thing I wanted to point out is um, um, I, it, um, on cansit.in, you know, this is my, my website where you can put in your, your, your uh, times when you could come to class if you wanted to come to class. By the way, um, if you have questions about anything, um, a good time to get those those questions answered, you know, and, and, and you want to ask me face to face is to is to come at the very beginning of class, and I will um, and and I can answer your question and then not start the recording until after I'm done answering your questions. Um, oftentimes, uh, cl uh, classes run and, and no one comes, which is fine. I'm just recording it anyway. Uh, but um, uh, so you can ask me a question and there probably won't be anybody else here to, um, in case you want to, uh, you know, to tell me more information that you might not want other students to know. So anyway, um, so that's here and you can come here and you can look at my schedule now. So that's, that's kind of neat. And, um, and if you ever do want to meet face to face uh, with a Zoom meeting, um, these times here that are dark, but I'm, but I'm not teaching a class are times when I don't. Uh, necessary, I probably don't have anything scheduled, right? Or I don't have anything pre-scheduled. Uh, Mondays are always very busy for me. And then these other times I uh, <clears throat> have meetings or, or something else going on. So anyway, <clears throat> that's that. Uh, <clears throat> so <clears throat> I wanted to comment on, I wanted to comment on chapter 2. section 2.9. <clears throat> This is the, the relational algebra or the theoretical foundation of SQL. And you should go through this. Uh, this is sort of the academic uh, side of, of, of SQL. And it's a good, um, it, it, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, more of, of theoretical interest. But if you understand this, then it makes it a lot easier to understand SQL and it, it makes it a lot easier to remember. And it also makes it easier to write. Uh, uh, I think it makes, uh, once I understood this and that there's an actual algebra that made sense and this concept of closure and, and, and everything, it became a lot easier for me to, to, um, to figure out um, uh, much more complex SQL statements. You know, when, when you're a, a programmer, um, and you're writing a database application that uses SQL, you often have a tendency to write simple SQL statements. And then you have your, your higher level pro program, uh, you know, uh, put things together. And like, like, for example, if you're producing a table, uh, you may um, end up having multiple SQL select statements for every cell of the table, just because it's easier uh, to, to to, to code that if you're writing it in PHP or Python or something. But, um, you know, you can often write a more complex SQL statement and, and get all that data in one select statement uh, where you may end up uh, only having to do uh, one select statement per row instead of uh, one select statement per column. So anyway, uh, so the, there's... Um, there's a Greek symbol for every one of these operations that we've talked about earlier. Selection, of course, is just selecting a table. A projection is, is, is selecting only some of the columns, uh, not all the columns. You, you, and then a, a, a product is a way to, to um, combine two tables together, join, join also, a union, and so on. Um, renaming, there's actually, there's actually a Greek symbol for that. And, and aggregation or, 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 or aggregating a group of rows uh, together based on some value 
in some column, uh, that's grouping. We haven't gotten the grouping yet. I, I sort of look back here and, and uh, we've talked about all of these things already, except for, for grouping. We don't get into grouping until chapter three. So just, you know, bear with us there. But so, so here we're just matching up the Greek letter with the, um, with the operation, very simple, you know, uh, S for sigma select, uh, pi for project, you know, so on. It's, so, so you can go through this, get all the points. And so, um, and this is how you put these Greek symbols together uh, and express, for example, a select statement. This is a select statement where you're selecting from a table called employee, everybody who's got a salary over 50,000, uh, and you only wanna see the name of the salary. Okay, so that's how you would write that, okay. Anyway, um, that's how, and so um, I'm not gonna ask you to convert this into a select statement or take a select statement and convert it into this uh, relational algebra. But, um, but if this were more of an academic class, uh, you know, I may do, I, I might do that. But here, it's just important that you understand it. And if you go through all these things, do all the participation activities, do, there could be, a, there's a couple of challenge activities at the end, I believe. Oh, yes, there's one. Uh, you know, go ahead and do those. All right, so that's that's uh, 2.9. It doesn't, it, it wouldn't help too much if I were to try to go any deeper and explain this stuff to you because uh, um, it's better if you just read it and us um, study it yourself. Okay, um, another thing I wanted to, to uh, mention is assignments, assignment two. I didn't talk too much about assignment two. I started recording something, but um, if you just go to like, for example, this video here, this video here is a good video on, on how to do the particular, that particular problem. And uh, they put- um, Writing's not that easy, but they put, uh, this sentence is- uh, ads in front of my videos now but anyway here i am uh, back in july of 27th 2020 uh and so so you can go through and here i'm doing uh, here i'm doing the pro that problem and so you can just step through it uh it's show you how to create the databases and every database for it and everything and uh, and all that so um so i don't really need to do much more with that let me just explain to you um, we talked about normal forms and uh, this problem and this problem are simply taking uh, tables that are in just first normal form. They're not even in second normal form. There's, there's um, um, partial, de partial dependencies uh, in these two tables uh, and you just convert them into uh, several smaller tables that are all in BCNF. Okay, so that's these two, simple. Now these two, three and four, they are actually, um, they're already in BCNF, uh, but these tables have what are called multi-valued dependencies, okay? So you have, you have um, uh, uh, something that, determines more than, that can determine more than one value, okay? Not, not just one, okay? It turns out that, that this, this, this example here is where the side dish is determined by the main dish uh, and the wine is determined by the main dish, okay? Uh, so um, if somebody's having salmon steak, uh, they, can, uh, they can only have mashed potatoes or white rice. They cannot have a baked potato, okay? And so in, in this scenario, um, you know, the person that's creating these meals is a real real stickler and doesn't feel that baked potatoes go well with, with salmon steaks, uh, uh, mashed potatoes and white, white, white rice do. Uh, for a beef steak though, for example, mashed potatoes and baked potato go with a beef steak, but white rice does not, okay? So there are these dependencies but they're multi-valued. Salmon steak will determine for the side dish 
it's either going to be a mashed potato or white rice. Okay. Uh, and uh, for beef steak is going to determine the side dish. It, it, it's going to be either baked potato or mashed potato. Okay. Same with the wines. Uh, for wines, it's more simple. If it's fish, it's white wine. If it's uh, steak, it's uh, if it's beef, it's red wine. Okay. So this is a red. This is a red. These are whites. Okay. So um, this is already in in BCNF because all of these combinations are unique. Okay, they're, they're unique, uh, uh, but no, no one column, no one column can serve as a key because there, there's redundancies uh, in all the columns. You know, there's two, two Pinot Grigios, there's two Cabernets. So, so no single column can be a key. No pair of columns can be a key because there's still, still gonna be redundancy. Um, uh, you, you know, here, well, okay. So, so the bottom line is, is that this is this table or this relation is all key, which means the, the primary key consists of a composite of, of all three of the, all three of the columns. Okay. So it's in BCNF. There's no dependencies. Um, th there's no, uh, dependencies having to do with non-key columns because there are no non-key columns, okay? But there's still redundancy. See, Sa here we have salmon steak determining uh, mashed potato twice, okay? That's redundant. Well, so, so what you have to do is you have to break this down into two smaller tables where uh, to remove the, the redundancy. You, you break this down into to a main dish, side dish table, and to a main dish wine table. And so the main dish side dish table just has ham and salmon steak, mashed potato, uh, salmon steak, white rice, beef steak, baked potato, beef steak, mashed potato. Okay, so, so that's what, and so it's gonna not have eight, it's only gonna, that's only gonna have four. Uh, same with, then the other table is main dish wine and same, it's only gonna have four instead of eight because uh, here we see, um, this with this and this with this is redundant. So, um, uh, so and and um, so you you break them down, and um, the way the way that you um, uh, reproduce this table is by by doing a natural join between them. We have two tables. We have a common table, common column, which is main dish, and you do do a natural join on the on the main dish side dish table, natural join main dish wine table, and you get back this table. Okay, so that's like fifth normal form, I think, fourth or fifth. I think it's fifth normal. Form. Uh, now that's uh, now there's some. Problems. Some of you have been getting back to me. There's some problems with the space. The space in the column name. Turns out the space in the column is okay. I think I just someone someone asked me the other day, and I said, "Oh no, you have to put an underscore." Uh, well, the only thing is, is that you have to be consistent. Uh, but and the other thing is, if you do have spaces in your column names, uh, then you need to uh, enclose the column name in in these back ticks in in the back in the the character that's above the, the tab key, the character that's to the left of the one key on your keyboard. And uh, I can show you that. I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, this, this, last, um, this last table here, it's the same kind of thing. The idea is that um, a course can be, uh, the course determines the instructor, but there can be more than one instructor for a course. Uh, and then the textbook is determined by the course. The course determines the textbook, uh, and there can be more than one textbook for the course. So this is the same kind of table. It's 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 all key. So uh, it's, it's in BCNF, uh, but there's redundancies, and um, so see, we have uh, you know ICS one hundred and one Singer. We have that more than once, uh, you know, and so on. And these textbook ICS one hundred and one. There's two textbooks, and so so I've described that. Up here, Nakasone teaches these. Uh, so, and the, the text, they, the ICS 101 uses these two textbooks, and this is used that, and so on. Uh, and so, 
So again, you have to reduce this to just a course instructor table and a course textbook table. Okay. And um, now this this is not in in fifth because if it were in fifth, then just joining those two tables together would give you back all the relations like it does up here. Joining these two tables together does not give you back all, all the relations because there could be some combinations of joining the two tables together that aren't, that aren't uh, there, you know? Um, uh, and so there, so uh, because you might not need to have that many sections of a course, for example. Uh, so, but, but, um, um, any course has, has got to be in the, the, um, um, has got to be present in, uh, the set, the, the relation that is produced when you, when you naturally join the two tables. Okay. So, so, um, so any, any course instructor textbook combination has got to be in the join of, of these two, uh, tables. But joining these two tables do not do not determine the set of all combinations because some of them might be missing. Uh, so anyway, um, that's that was kind of the reason for me uh, to have these two, um, you know, parts to this to this assignment, just to sort of expose you to uh, how you how you can have tables in BCNF, but you can still have redundancies. And so when there's redundancies, you got to just reduce them down farther. And it, it may mean you take a BCNF table and you, you split it up into two more BCNF tables, which is what you're doing here, but you're getting rid of the, um, the, the redundancy and the tables are, you know, be, um, end up in fourth or fifth row. All right, so, um, so that's, um, that's my scratch. All right, so, so that's what I was going to say about uh, these two. Um, I'd like to get you started on uh, chapter three. All right, let's get started with chapter three. And in chapter three is where we really, I guess, more or less introduce um, SQL. Now, you've seen a lot of SQL already. It's, it's real tough with this course not to, not to expose you to SQL right, right from the beginning. Um, I used to teach, uh, I used to try to teach five, five weeks or so of relational algebra first. Uh, so, so you learn, um, you know, the theoretical part first and then expose you to SQL because a lot of people that come into this class have never um, written SQL before. And I thought that was a good idea, but, uh, but I just ended up not spending enough time on SQL and students would finished the course and they weren't really as strong in SQL as they should be. And so uh, I've rearranged it and we try to get right into SQL right away and we have SQL all, all the way through the semester. So um, now uh, here it gives you a little bit of background of um, who uses SQL. The database designer uses SQL to create the database and the database user uses SQL commands to, uh, you know, add data, um, delete data, do select statements, joins, and produce reports, and so on. So this helps you understand that the SQL commands are used for both. Uh, this is the syntax. You've seen this. Um, there's a for a select statement. That's your here. You're just asking the database for a table of data, uh, a relation. And so that's started out with a select clause. And then there's the projection part. You say which columns you want. They can be spread across a bunch of tables. Uh, and then you have this from keyword. And then here's the from part. And there's gotta be at least like one table in there, but there can be more tables in there joined up together. There can be a, what's called a view. There can be, um, but, but what is there has got to ultimately produce a table. Okay? It can be a virtual table, but it's got to have columns and rows, and that's what you're selecting. And the columns in those in in whatever is here, this has got to be a subset of those columns. You can't have anything. Well, 
it's not quite true, but um, all of these columns there reference columns that are that are uh, that come from whatever this is. And then this is the restriction part. You don't want all the rows. You just want some of the rows. In fact, you just want these rows, okay? And that's the where keyword uh, is what uh, uh, says that that's what that the restriction the restriction expression is after that. So, so this is the select clause, and and you'll see other parts of these in the in the insert. There's also uh, See, this is select. Oh, here, here we. Um, uh, there's different. You know, SQL is is has got a lot of parts to it. It's it's not just a so the select insert. You know, delete statements. It's um, you know, there's statements to 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 def to create tables, to create databases, to join. To uh, to set up relations relations between the tables and so on, uh, and um, and so that's what these other sub languages are. All right. Um, to create a table, you use this. Oh, okay, create create database. Uh, you know, if you are if you're doing command line database. Uh, Administration. Then there's a create database statement. Um, we we are using um, our SQL, our our cPanel uh, SQL server, which I've I've logged into my cPanel here, and uh, we can create we create our databases using this little app here. Create databases on our server, and I've created a bunch of databases here because I've done done a bunch of assignments and so on, and uh, and then back here. Uh, the quote database management system to query the database. We use this app called PHP My Admin. My is for MySQL, administering MySQL, and it's written in PHP. But on the left here, you see all my um, all my my databases, and uh, so so we create in, in in this class. It's convenient to create databases here. But once we're here, we uh, we can type in any SQL in this text box here and execute. So, so we'll see that. Uh, so um, when we wanna drop a database on our server here, we can go back to databases here and just uh, click delete there and they'll drop it. Show show is a nice command. You can we can do these uh, these. Uh, let's see if I do this. This thing got messed up. Let me take this and put it over here. And so let's go to a table. Let's. Uh, Oh, this uh, Sakila database was well. You did this in the very beginning. Uh, I guess we can go to that that database because you should be kind of familiar with that. Um, here is the actor table. It looks like this, but um, we can do and do do these SQL commands here, like show databases. Let's see what happens when I do that. I'm going to go up to. Well, right up here, click on this, and then I'm going to click SQL, and I'm going to type show databases, and I'm going to click on go, and oh look, it shows me the databases, and we can do show table. I have to be, I have to have a database selected before I can show tables. I think. What happens if I just do show tables? It's gonna see what it does. Um, no database selected. Um, let's see. How about use Richard H. I think I got rid of Richard H. Underscore Sakila. Semicolon. Does this work? 
oh yeah, there, okay. If I say use the this database and then I do show tables and it shows me all the tables, look, they're all right here too. So this must be a view or something. It's a view, I bet. Yes, actor info. All right, so anyway, uh, so, so these all work. So you can see those working. Make sure you understand that. Creating and dropping tables. Uh, you can you can create creating and dropping tables. Um, we can see see these are basic MySQL data types. Um, decimal date time characters. Uh, make sure you understand these. There's signed and unsigned integers and integers that use only one byte or two bytes or three bytes or four bytes or eight bytes or, and so on. Same as the machine pretty much. Here's the create and drop statement. And as you, as you recall, you can always produce, what happened to my phone? You can always uh, produce the create and drop statement by going to PHP my admin, we were just there, and uh, you know, clicking on export works. So let's 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 grab a a table. Let's go to um, here's assignment two, question three. This is the the main side dish one. I put underscores there. You don't. I don't think you need to put underscores there. I. Uh, um, but if you do, when you ref when you refer to the tables, you have to use those back ticks. Um, but anyway, do click on export, and uh, you know you can you can just uh, well no, uh, click on custom because that way you can. Uh, and here you can select which which ones you want to export. Um, you can this the structure produces the create table statement, and the data produces all the insert statements to. Uh, you know, populate the tables. And so, so let's just select everything. Uh, and uh, let's show the output, just view it as text. So we're not producing a file, we'll just see it in a great big text box. And let's leave all this other stuff here. Let's just leave it here, see what happens. So when you click go, we see here, this produces something that you can just copy, copy this and, and Put it in the SQL text box of some other uh, someplace else and just execute it and it'll it'll reproduce this whole database. <clears throat> so um, this is the create table and see these are the back ticks that I'm talking about. Oh look, I did. I, I used I made spaces, I put spaces in between the the names. Why didn't I know that? Um, I'm going to open this up in another window. Open link a new tab. So when we actually look at the main, uh, let's look at original. Okay, I actually do have spaces. Okay, so you can have spaces. I told somebody the wrong thing. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's but when you, it's it's very important then. When you are referring to a column that's got a space in it, these back ticks are very important. Okay, these back ticks are very important. That's what makes it so you can have a space there. You don't need the back ticks if you don't have any spaces. Okay, so you don't really need the back ticks here because there's no spaces, but there is a space here. So you got to put the back ticks. And, and when you put the back ticks, you can put anything in there. So that's kind of nice. So there are spaces there. Um, but anyway, these are the create table statements. And then the, this is an, these are insert statements, just like the insert statements that, that we're going to learn about. And these are insert statements where you can multi, where you can insert multiple records with one insert statement. And then the, here, look, here's a drop. Here we're dropping. Uh, well, this is this is how it does the view. If, if you actually are going to import this, you got to take. Uh, you got to take this out. 
because otherwise if you try to import it someplace else it'll the fact that you have something that's got the the uh, username is gonna mess it up anyway side note all right so um so let's go back here and let's get to some i want to get to some labs ah the next one's a lab looks like okay so this this goes over all those kinds of statements altered any alters in Must have deleted that. Oh, here it is. Oh, here's some alters. Um, the way this works is is the create table statement. It's just like this with all with nothing, and, and then you we alter the table to add the primary key. Alter the table to add the primary key. All right. So. Um, so the next one's a lab. You can do these. Um, complete the following statement to create a table named country. Um, so let's. So if you if you, you 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 have to click on the start and then you do you do them all correctly and if you get them wrong they 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 give you another chance and you get it wrong they give you another chance and then finally you get it get it all get all the points. So complete the following statement to create a table named country. Um, create table, create table country. Um, ISO code char char. Three, comma, date. Uh, let's see. Bar char fifty. Or... Varchar date. Okay, so they like Varchar, not Char. So I'm going to use Varchar. And then date is just date. I'm going to use Varchar. And I'm going to say check. E set an answer for each input. Oh. Oh, I just didn't put anything there. Let's do it again. Oh, delete the table. Delete table country. Okay. So. almost the same isn't it um create table country uh iso code uh varchar three and name stores country name of 56 letters varchar 56 delete the table <laughs> delete table country all right is this right Ah, this time it wants char. Did I get that wrong last time? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, well, so so char char will allocate three spaces no matter how big it is. Whereas varchar, it's variable. So if varchar varchar obviously obviously has a field which says how many characters from the, are in the the, the character string. Uh, and char just allocates that many. So let's let's try this one more time. And if I don't get it next time, then you're just going to have to get it yourself. Okay. So it looks like this is um, create table country ISO code char 
three. Country store is a um, populous up to 15, cannot be negative. So it can be an unsigned integer up to that much. That's um, 1.5 trillion. Um, I got to use this one. Unsigned. Okay, I just say int. I say unsigned. Okay, I guess I say int. Why do I say it's not something wrong? I'm probably going to get this one wrong too. It. Unsigned. Okay, I have to. I, I actually have to say that. Does it say that up here? I don't see where it says that. All right. Um, this class goes to, well, anyway, um, you can, um, you can work to get that done. Let's, uh, let's go to this first lab here, create student table with constraints. And so I guess we just need to create a, now, um, here, here is where we can actually cheat. By cheating, we can use our cPanel. And I'm just going to go in, and I think I already did create a, a database, a database called test, but I'm going to even create it. I'm going to create another one called test. Let me see. Um, well, I can just look at, uh, excuse me, look over here. All right, I have a test one, a test, I have a test and a test two. I'm, I guess I'm going to create a test three because because I want to start from scratch. Uh, I'd love to create databases smaller um, create a new database I'm going to call it test three create database that's all I need to do it's it's there believe me test three is that what I said okay test three uh, and then uh, go back to go back to um, let's see. Let me. I don't need this anymore. I go here. I can see that my databases. I've got a database here. Test three. I'm not going to see it over here. I guess. Unless I do something. I don't see test three here. What if I do just this? There it is. Okay, so, so I've got an empty table here. And uh, I'm gonna, um, or no, I've, I've got an empty database and I'm gonna uh, create a table, uh, create a student table that's got these in it. And I'm gonna create it over here and then I'm just gonna produce the create table statement, okay? So this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fields. So I'm going to do nine columns. Oh, a name is going to be student. Did this before. And here are the places where I can enter in what they are. So I'm going to do uh, the first one is uh, I'm going to pop this over ID ID first name uh, 
first name, last name. Did I do this before? Street, city, state, zip. It's not the same zip, it's this one. And phone and email. Um, wait a minute. I'm going to check. I'm going to check to see if there's nobody here. So I'm going to check to see if I've done this before. No, I haven't. I must be thinking of last semester or something. But what, but it seems weird that they all um, popped up like that. All right, so um, I'm doing this one. And uh, the first one is, integers right, and it is an auto increment primary key. So I go, um, go over here and it is auto increment, that's what this is, and primary. Okay, it automatically set there and that's it. Go okay. auto increment primary key. This means auto increment. And uh, then I got to do that's all for that. Then this is a bar char 20, bar char 20, uh, not null. Okay. Next one is last name is a bar char 30 not null, and the next one is bar char 50, not null, bar char 20, 20, not null, state is fixed length two, not null. Fixed length, that must be char then. two. Not null. Zip is uh, I'll do it that way. That's 16 million, that's just fine if I just do int. Oh, zero to 65, that's just gonna, that just needs two bytes. So that's just uh, this one, two byte. Unsigned. And this is zero to 16 million, so that would be This one, unsigned zero to 16 million, unsigned. I've learned my unsigned. Okay, phone is fixed length 10 characters. Char, where's char, 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 10 characters. And email is variable 30 characters must be unique. Okay. Bar char 30 um, attributes index. Unique. I don't think you need to put a name there. I'll put one in there for you. Variable length string with max seven. Must be unique. Doesn't say not null. Hmm. 
Well, all right. Um, so I'm going to leave it then, and I'm going to say save. Oh, I guess I can preview SQL, but I'm just going to go ahead and save it. I guess I'm going to preview the SQL. Uh, but anyway, uh, so now I can just do. Um, how do I? Um, okay, so now I can just do a export and do a custom. Uh, and uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, output view as text. And I'm going to say go. And here is uh, my create table. Now, I, I'm going to go ahead and throw this in there. Up here, I'm going to put that up here, comma, that. And I'm going to put this also. I got to put auto increment someplace. Not no auto increment. I just need to put the auto increment. Okay, small int five, that's not right. Oh, yes it is, yeah, okay. Um, all right, so uh, that looks good. I'm gonna, uh, I don't need, I don't think I need either of these. I'm gonna take those out. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this. It's got the back ticks in there, that's okay, copy it. And I'm going to go over to here and paste it right here. And then I'm going to uh, then I'm going to submit it. See if I get a, get the points. What did I get wrong? I only got seven out of 10. Oh, I'm supposed to put default Texas? And I guess the email can be no. So, uh, it has to have a default of Texas, my Texas. And it has to be, um, this has to be, um, this has to be, yes. Yeah, so this has to be yes, and this has to be Texas. So anyway, we just have to do um, default Texas. And let's go back here. Let's go back here just to make sure we get it right and go to structure and change the default. to Texas, TX. And we want to change the email to K. 
can be null. Right, so can be null. And it's Texas. Now let's go to export. And I'm going to see if I can export this all at once. I don't think I can, but close export and transaction. <clears throat> I'm going to take out the comments. I'm going to take out the transaction. I'm just going to do that. That doesn't matter. There's no, no data. Add the create, add the auto increment value. Yes. Uh, uh, well, I don't think I can do it from here. So anyway, let's just do this. I'll have to do the same thing again. And I'm going to, uh, actually, all I need is, this down to here, down to here, copy. And let me go over here. Now the problem is, well, let me just, let me just do it this way. It is, um, Why are two? Why do I have two of them? Two of them. Um, let me go back to here and I'm going to say, I'm going to copy these. Okay, so all I got to do is put default TX and change this to uh, remove the not. Okay, so let's see if that works. Default TX and uh, take this not. Default null. Oh, uh, okay. Default null. That's okay. I'm going to say default null. All right. So really, um, variable length string maximum 30 characters must be unique, can be null. I got all the points. And uh, yeah, oh, here we say set the default as Texas. I thought it was, I thought it was example of Texas. No, set the default as Texas. So they're all not null. Well, this can't be null. They're all not null, except for the email can be null because it doesn't say not null and uh, the default is Texas. Okay, so anyway, uh, so I got all the points for that. What time is it? I think that's pretty good. Um, why don't we uh, end it here? And next time I will do help you out with some more of these labs. There, there are a lot of labs in this section. And uh, these, these um, create table ones, alter movie ones, they're pretty straightforward. Uh, once we get into defining the uh, primary and foreign keys, uh, and then really when we get into um, some of the more complex statements that have nested SQL uh, in them and uh, join, join different join statements. So anyway, um, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.